What's up guys? This is Javelin at English Tutor Hub and welcome to my channel. Today, we are drawing a grammar lesson all about adverbs of frequency. So, let's start. First of all, what are adverbs? Well, the definition of an adverb is an adverb is a word that modifies a verb. The adverb gives more information about the verb. So, the verb describes an action and the adverb gives us more information about that action. For example, without an adverb, a very simple sentence, Helen is dancing. With an adverb, Helen is dancing gracefully. So, gracefully is the adverb and it gives us more information about the action. So, gracefully modifies the verb dance. This is the action, dancing, and gracefully tells us how Helen is dancing. Helen is dancing gracefully. So, it gives more information, more details, alright? So, that is the definition of just a normal adverb, alright? So, what are adverbs of frequency? Let's look at an example. Tim plays badminton. We are describing a habit. That's why we are using a present simple. Tim sometimes plays badminton. So, the word sometimes is an adverb of frequency an adverb of frequency is an adverb of time so it gives us more information about the time and it describes the frequency of an action so it gives us more information about the frequency and in this lesson you will learn first of all the adverbs of indefinite frequency and then the adverbs of definite frequency all right so there are two types of adverbs of frequency and you will learn both types. And you will also learn the position of adverbs of frequency in the sentence. And at the end, there are some exercises at the end of the lesson. So let's start with adverbs of indefinite frequency so adverbs of indefinite frequency the definition adverb of indefinite frequency give a general indication of the frequency so it's not an exact indication it's not as perfected indication of frequency. Let's look at some of the examples. So, if the level of frequency is maximum 100% of time, maximum 100% of time, then we say always. Example, I always play badminton. So, 
a hundred percent of the time I always play badminton so if you play badminton zero zero percent of the time then we use the adverb never I never play badminton so this two always and never these two are extremes and in between in between never and always in between of these two extremes adverbs there are several other adverbs for example so slightly more than ever we say rarely or hardly ever example i hardly ever play badminton then slightly more frequent we say seldom i seldom play badminton then we say occasionally i occasionally play badminton then in the middle in the middle at 50 percent approximately 50 percent we say sometimes i sometimes play badminton so sometimes is neutral it is in the middle sometimes it you is neutral and it is in the middle now we have now we have often i often play badminton then we have usually i usually play badminton and then we have frequently i frequently play badminton and then the numbers here the numbers here the percentages they are not exact okay do not worry the exact percentages they the numbers here the percentages they are not exact do not worry the exact percentages because they are not important what is important is the relative order of the adverbs for example seldom for example seldom is less frequent than often and often and often is less frequent than frequently so the relative order of these adverbs is important now these last three lines seldom rarely hardly ever and never these three lines here these adverbs they have a negative meaning so they have a negative frequency for example do you often play badminton and if the answer is no then you say no i seldom play badminton or no i rarely i rarely play badminton or you could say no never i never play badminton so these three lines 
they are negative in meaning. Seldom, rarely, hardly ever, never. They are negative in meaning and all the other adverbs here, adverbs of indefinite frequency, all the others have positive meaning. So, these are the adverbs of indefinite frequency. Now, let's look at the position of adverbs of indefinite frequency. Here is the list. All of, all of the adverbs of indefinite frequency can go before the main verb. I repeat. All of the adverbs of indefinite frequency can go before the main verb. So, all of them, this is a general rule. Go before the main verb. For example, I always play volleyball. Play is the main verb and we put the adverb before before play which is always tom seldom cooks food here is the verb cooks and here is the adverb seldom and this one is interesting I have never met my father. So you notice here, there are in fact two verbs. We have the verb have and the verb met, which is the first form of meet. But, but have is an auxiliary verb. It is not a main verb. This is the main verb met. So the adverb goes before the main verb, which is never. I have never met my father. Not before the auxiliary verb. So this is the general rule for all of these adverbs of indefinite frequency. This is the best position to put them in. Now, there is an exception. If the main verb is the verb to be, the verb to be, the adverb of indefinite frequency is after the verb to be. Example, this coffee shop is often busy. This is an exception and we also have some optional rules. If we want to change the position of these adverbs, occasionally, sometimes, often, frequently, and usually put them at the beginning or end of a sentence only only these adverbs example example sometime i play volleyball so as you can see here we put sometimes at the beginning of a sentence and we can also say Lisa cooks food occasionally. You can see here, we've decided to put occasionally at the end of the sentence. Rarely can go at the end of a sentence. Often with very. We often put this with the word we often put this with the word very. For example, we 
go on vacation very rarely all right so this is the general rule this is an exception to the verb verb to be and if you want to change the position of the adverb then you can use the optional rules here now let's look at adverbs of definite frequency the definition is adverbs of definite frequency describe the exact frequency of an action so they are very specific example I play volleyball three times a week as you can see it's very specific three times a week we have the exact frequency I go to work five times a week I study I study French five times a week so the form is number then the word times and a word a uh, and then and then a period and then a period of time for example two times a week and there are two exceptions if the number of times is one then we say once not one time example I mop the floor once a week okay don't say not don't say one time a week I mop the floor once a week do not say one time a week if a number of times is two then we say twice not two times example I go to Singapore twice a year we do not say I go to Singapore two times a year all right so this is very useful structure more examples John goes to market every day Cecil cleans her room every weekend so here the form is every and then a period of time and very important very important the period of time the period of time is in the singular singular form so period of time again guys don't forget very important the period of time is in the singular form and here is a list of the periods of time again period of time so these are the most common ones day week slot week month year morning evening night fortnight fortnight means two weeks so more examples here Dave watches tennis match on Sundays Greg studies music on Tuesdays again example Dave watches tennis match on Sundays 
squared studies music on studies music on Tuesdays. So here the form is the word on and then the day of the week. And very important. The day of the week is in the plural form. So, on Sundays, on Tuesdays. So, this means Dave, Dave watches tennis mats every Sundays. And Greg studies music every Tuesdays. Alright? So, very useful expressions. We only use this for days of the week. Okay? And some more examples. We have adverbs like hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. And again, they mean every hour every day every week every month and every year for example john calls his girlfriend daily so this means john calls his girlfriend every day that is daily daily is the adverb Again, this goes at the end of the sentence. My school pays me monthly. So, the position, so the position, these adverbs go at the end of the sentence. So, after the verb and after the object, if there is an object after the verb and so the, uh, this is after the verb and after the object if there is an object both of these both of these verbs have an object both of these verbs have an object his girlfriend so daily is after the object and here the object is me my school pays me monthly and so the adverb goes after after the object so how do we Ask a question about frequency. Well, we use a structure, how often, followed by the question form of the verb. Example, how often do you play volleyball? So we have, we have how often and this is simply the question form of the verb and here it says the present simple tense but it could be another tense if we want to here is another example how often does Helen clean her room so again this is a present simple but this time, it is the third person singular and the question form in the third person singular. Is, does Helen clean her room? Now, here is in the past tense. When you lived in Thailand, how often did it rain? So you have how often and we have the question form of the past simple 
Did it rain? Next, how often will you visit me? This time we are in a future simple tense. How often followed by the question form of the future simple will you visit? Will you visit? Alright? So this is how you ask somebody about the frequency of an action. So, exercise. Correct the sentences. My sister is punctual always. So, you have here, my sister is always punctual. David sometimes is sad. Okay? Our teacher gives often us a lot of homework. We write usually our composition for the English class. She is late to work never. Hardly ever I go to the cinema. We revise for our test usually. So we have here the answers. Number one, correct answer is, my sister is always punctual. David is sometimes a bit sad. Sorry guys, I forgot to put the period. Our teacher often gives us a lot of homework. We usually write our compositions for the English class. She is never late to work. I hardly ever go to the cinema. We usually revise for our test. So for more practice exercise, visit EnglishTutorHub.com and to get a complete downloadable materials for this lesson. So there we are guys, that's the end of this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share, like, and let me know your thoughts and questions by dropping down you, by dropping your comment below. Love to hear from you. This is Javelin. See you soon. Thank you for watching.